Hi everybody, Matthew here from Disaster Area. Uh, one more demo of the DMC60. Um, we've already covered the expression pedal inputs and the extender switch as well as general configuration and use with Ableton Live. Uh, today we're going to cover the last piece which is the USB and DIN MIDI integration. So the DMC60 has got a USB MIDI port on the back panel and right next to it there's a 5 pin DIN MIDI out. So the DIN MIDI out sends MIDI notes every time you hit a button, uh, every time you use the expression controllers, uh, it sends MIDI CC, and it can send those to anything that's capable of picking up DIN MIDI. Um, the main use for this is if you're a long way from your laptop or your computer, uh, a MIDI cable is capable of carrying the signal a lot farther than uh, the USB is. USB is really only good for five meters or 15 feet. So um, that's one application for the DIN MIDI, but we're gonna cover another one and that is using the DMC60 as a MIDI interface to send messages from your PC in Ableton Live out to MIDI pedals like the Strymon Timeline, the Line 6 M series, the M5, M9, M13, um, the Eventide Factors, H9, anything that has a MIDI input we can probably talk to. So uh, let's open up Ableton and I've got the Andromeda Trip construction kit here. Uh, it's uh, 125 BPM it's got four pieces, an intro, a chorus, a break, and a verse. We're going to go into MIDI map and we're going to learn all these things the way we normally do. Um, so we're going to learn each one to a button. And we're going to learn the master stop on the transport. Um, and then once that's done, we're going to create a MIDI track. Um, so we'll insert a MIDI track here, and we're going to create some new clips. Now if you look down here, um, we're going to set these up. Uh, let's open the I.O. panel real quick here. Uh, we're going to send the MIDI to uh, Disaster MIDI. So if you guys can see this highlighted in, in blue here, Disaster MIDI. We're going to send it there. and. Uh, from Disaster MIDI, we're going to send it to channel 2. I've got the timeline set to receive on channel 2. So, uh, we'll go to this first clip, and we're going to send a program change on this guy here. Program change 2. And we're going to send program change 4. And we're going to send program change 6 and program change 8. Now what this is going to do, as you'll see, is when we're currently on bank 83 on the timeline, when we go to play, you can see we've gone to 0, 0, B now on the timeline. So we've sent it program change 2, which is 0, 0, B. So when we go to the next piece, Now you can see we're on 1B. If we go to the next piece, go to the verse, we're on 3B. If we decide we want to go to the break, gone to 2B. So you can see that the timeline follows along with any MIDI clips that you happen to send. So if you drop MIDI clips in here, you can configure your effects processors to follow along. If you're using a Disaster Area DPC-5, you can have all of your non-MIDI pedals switch at the same time. So uh, there's one more thing I would like to cover, and that is using uh, Ableton to send MIDI clock. So uh, something you may not know, is if you right click on the clip here, um, you can change the launch tempo. So the intro is 125, we're going to make this 130. We're going to make the break 135, and we're going to make the verse 140. Uh, this is something that you'd usually do from song to song. So if you've got all of your clips here, song one, song two, song three, song four, normally you would start the intro of each song at the correct tempo. Um, 
So we'll change the timeline over to the BPM display and we'll go ahead and play the piece. You can see the timeline has grabbed the tempo and is at 125 BPM. And now it's grabbed the new tempo and it's at 130. And now it's grabbed the new tempo at 135. And finally, it's grabbed the last tempo at 140. If we go back to the intro, it's grabbed the tempo at 125. So it's currently syncing to MIDI clock over the DIN MIDI, changing programs, keeping in sync with your loops. So that is one of the killer features of the DMC60. Uh, they're available for pre-order on our website now at www.disasterareadesigns.com. If you've got any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching.